In a whirlwind of shock and skepticism, the entertainment industry has been rocked by recent revelations surrounding Meghan Markle's involvement in upcoming Netflix projects. The Duchess of Sussex, known for her polarizing presence in the public eye, finds herself under scrutiny once again as co-founder of Netflix, Hastings, alongside renowned figures Sarando and Peter, reportedly turned down her proposed ventures. This rejection has ignited a fervor of speculation and debate, shedding light on Markle's aspirations and her standing within the realm of entertainment. Markle's foray into the world of film and television post-royalty has been met with both anticipation and apprehension. While her transition from the confines of the monarchy to the creative liberties of Hollywood initially garnered attention, her recent setback with Netflix has raised questions about her aptitude and influence within the industry. The refusal by Netflix's co-founders to greenlight Markle's proposed projects suggests a discord between her vision and the standards upheld by the streaming giant. Critics have been quick to attribute the rejection to Markle's lack of experience experience and relevance in the entertainment sphere. Despite her royal lineage and brief stint as an actress prior to her marriage to Prince Harry, Markle's track record in the industry remains modest at best. This latest development underscores the challenges she faces in establishing herself as a credible figure in Hollywood, where talent and merit often reign supreme. Moreover, Markle's aspirations have been marred by accusations of opportunism and self-promotion. Some skeptics argue that her involvement in high-profile projects is driven more by personal ambition than genuine passion for storytelling. The rejection by Netflix serves as a sobering reminder that fame and pedigree alone do not guarantee success in the fiercely competitive landscape of entertainment. In light of these developments, Markle's detractors have seized the opportunity to question her motives and integrity. The decision by Netflix to pass on her proposed projects has reignited discussions about her suitability as a cultural influencer and role model. Critics point to her controversial past, including allegations of diva-like behavior and clashes with the British media, as evidence of her unsuitability for mainstream projects. The backlash against Markle highlights the enduring fascination with her public persona and the scrutiny she faces as a former member of the royal family. While she continues to command attention and adoration from a devoted fan base, her detractors remain steadfast in their skepticism and criticism. The rejection by Netflix serves as a sobering reminder that Markle's ambitions are not immune to the harsh realities of an industry that demands talent, dedication, and authenticity. As Markle navigates the complexities of her post-royal life, she must confront the harsh realities of an industry that demands more than just a prestigious title. The rejection by Netflix may serve as a humbling experience for the Duchess of Sussex, forcing her to reassess her approach and priorities in the world of entertainment. Only time will tell whether she can overcome this setback and emerge as a respected figure in Hollywood, or if her ambitions will continue to be met with skepticism and controversy. In conclusion, Meghan Markle's recent rejection by Netflix has sparked debate and controversy within the entertainment industry, casting doubt on her aspirations and credibility as a cultural influencer. While her supporters remain loyal, her detractors question her motives and suitability for mainstream projects. As Markle continues to navigate the complexities of her post-royal life, she must confront the harsh realities of an industry that demands talent, dedication, and